Welcome, we are going to look at protecting Kubernetes with Metallic today. This is Metallic Hub, your one-stop location for all your protected data, cloud and on-premises, and now Kubernetes protection. Hub shows you your backup status, events and backup success rate, and your subscription usage and stored data. Let's add a new configuration. Select the Kubernetes option to get started. You can choose backup via gateway for on-prem and EKS clusters. Let's select Azure EKS for a quick start setup. Next, select where to store your cloud backup data. We will choose metallic Microsoft Azure Storage in East US 2. Metallic then auto configures your cloud storage. Next, select your preferred backup plan by deciding backup frequency and retention. Let's pick the production plan with one month retention. Metallic assures protection occurs to your plan. Let's add our Kubernetes cluster to protect. Enter your Kube API server and login details to let Metallic protect your Kubernetes apps. Finally, let's choose Kubernetes apps to protect. Let's auto protect the mvprod namespace. Add apps, labels, and volumes you need to protect as well. Hub will now show your new plans. your backup success rates, and all protected Kubernetes applications. Multi-cloud, multi-cluster Kubernetes is simple. Protect AKS, EKS, and on-prem clusters from one place. Plans enforce your protection policy across clusters. We have multiple production clusters, one plan. We have multiple dev clusters, just one plan, simple. We're ready for our first Kubernetes backup now. But first, let's add some additional protection by adding a label selector to our backup. Enter MV equals prod so that labeled apps are auto-protected. Labeling's often part of your release pipeline already. Metallic will auto-detect label apps now, meaning you won't miss important apps. You can run a discovery immediately to test your label and it looks like we found prod apps in the default namespace. Let's go and run our first ad hoc backup now. Click backup. Metallic's now copying app manifests and data to your backup storage. Okay, now we have a backup, let's run a restore. Just pick the recovery date and click restore. You can restore persistent volumes and data, application manifests or YAML files, or full apps, which includes both YAML and volumes. Let's take a look at what YAML manifests were collected for our apps. We can see all the API resources and PVCs that make up our app. Let's restore a full app now. And let's choose out of place to restore to a remote cluster, and let's pick our EKS cluster to perform an app migration. Enter application name and namespace and destination storage class. Application recovery and migrations now underway. And when completed, the app will be running in the remote cluster. Our remote cluster shows our app was started in Amazon EKS. We can see our app consists of three replicas. Let's look at the persistent volumes for the app. Our PVC was successfully attached. Describing the PVC shows which CSI driver was used. EBS.CSI provisioned our volumes. Start protecting your Kubernetes apps today at metallic.io. Thank you.